Welcome to the assembly video of Tasmodo Mammoth. First cut open the shipping straps, and then proceed to open the box. Take out the rear rack, the accessory box, and the bike. Proceed to remove the wrappings protecting the bike. The front fork was packed in the long box. Let's open that small box to see what's inside. Inside the box, you'll find a pair of pedals, a front light, a bag of tools, a charger, a handbook, reflectors, and keys. Now, let's install the front light. First, remove all the accessories on the fork absorber. Install the front light on the fork, and then put a part of the accessories back on the fork. Please pay attention to the order of the accessories shown in the picture. Insert the fork into the holes of the bike frame from bottom to top. Put the rest part of the accessories back to the fork. Please pay attention to the order of the accessories shown in the picture. Press the spring and fasten the screw with the nut. Loosen the screws on the fork of the bike frame and tighten it to the under of the shock absorber rod to fix it. Do the same for the other side. Now, let's install the front wheel. Please note that the brake disc is on the right side of the front wheel. Remove the nut and spacers on both sides of the front wheel. Gently pick up the bike and lower the front fork onto the front wheel. When installing the spacer, make sure that the safety hook is inserted into the hole above and then put the nut back to fasten it and do the same for the other side.
Now let's install the front brake caliper. Remove the screws on the brake caliper first. Let it through the front fork. Put it on the brake disc. and install the screws through the holes on the fork to the brake caliper. Now let's install the front fender. Remove the bolt and the nut Put the front fender on the wheel and install and fix them. You can adjust the direction of the front light as you wish. Use the screw on the front fork to secure the front fender and do the same for the other side. Connect the wire of the front light to the extended wire of the bike. Now let's install the handlebar. Remove the four screws on the cover. Install the handlebar to the bike. And put the cover back with the four screws. Make sure to align the middle position of the riser and tighten two of the screws first. Adjust the handlebar to the correct position you want and tighten the rest screws. Connect the wires on the handlebar to the extended wires on the bike. Please pay attention to the color of the wires connectors and make sure the letters on the connectors are aligned. Next, you need to attach the rear rack. Install the rear rack with the screws to the corresponding holes on the bike and fasten it. Next, you need to attach the pedals. Identify the left pedal is engraved with L and the right pedal is engraved with R. Take the right pedal, screw it clockwise onto the crank by hand, then tighten it firmly. Take the left pedal, screw it anti-clockwise onto the crank by hand, then tighten it firmly. Adjust the seat post and the saddle. Unfold the seat post clamp, choose the proper height for yourself, and then fold the clamp back to tighten it. Now, let's install the reflectors. Use the tool fasten the screws to install it. Complete assembly. Double check and make sure the seat post and handlebar are firmly installed. Turn on the battery first. Press the power button to turn on the LCD display. Test the front light. 
test the throttle. You can press the plus minus button to adjust the level of pedal assist from level one to five, and then press the throttle. The motor gets power. Use the right brake to stop the motor and the rear light will be turned on. Test the thumb shifter. The USB port is on the bottom of the LCD display and you can use it to charge your phone. Charge the battery. You can charge the battery when it is on the bike. Or you can use the key to unlock the battery and take it out for charging. Make sure the battery is installed to the groove on the bike when you put it back. Don't forget to use the key to lock it. That's it. Your Tesmoto e-bike is ready to ride. Thanks for watching.